Elements and compounds. First, a couple things about elements, just by way of review. Element, uh, uh, basic substance, all things are made of elements. Uh, we named a few, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and so forth. Uh, elements have symbols. Uh, for example, hydrogen. Hydrogen. What's the symbol for hydrogen? Is it this? Is that the symbol for hydrogen? I don't think so. You're going to lose some credit on the next test, on your test, or your uh, module 1 to 4 test, if you put that. What is the symbol for hydrogen? It is a printed capital H. And if you have a two letter symbol, such as helium, a printed capital H, a lowercase e. And so, uh, when you write that letter, it often stands for one particle of that element. And so this H right here stands for one particle of hydrogen. What would that be? I bet a hydrogen atom, right? Isn't that the smallest particle of an element is an atom? Yeah. And so, um, you're going to uh, later on see uh, see something that uh, sort of looks like this and what does that represent? Well C represents carbon but more specifically when that letter is written like that it represents one carbon what? The smallest particle of carbon or a carbon atom. Same thing for the H. That H doesn't just represent hydrogen uh, it represents a hydrogen atom. And what do these little sticks represent? They represent uh, chemical bonds. And so, uh, we're going to look at a bunch of what are called ball and stick models. Here's one right here. I'll hold it up to where you can see it fairly well. And this uh, has a bunch of balls, and it has some sticks. And uh, the balls represent the same thing those letters up there do. So each ball represents one what? Well, one atom, of course, and the sticks represent chemical bonds. We'll write that down a little bit later, but that's an introduction to that. And uh, if you should write a diagram that with, like this with lowercase h's, uh, what's going to happen? Professor Vesey will probably take off a point out of two or something. And uh, so we need to, need to write it like this, printed capital letters. Well, we already said that H2O, H2O, is not an element. What is it? It's one of those things up there, a compound. And uh, of course we know that H and O, uh, those are symbols of elements. H for what? Hydrogen. O for oxygen. And so uh, this actually uh, represents a little particle of H2O, the smallest particle of H2O. H2O. Fact is it represents the same thing that this does right here. Ah. My goodness, it represents what? Three what's joined together. What do the balls represent again? Atoms. Atoms. And so a hydrogen, a little chunk of water, rather, has, is made up of how many atoms joined together? Well, three. And how come two are one color and one's the other color? That represents different what? Different elements, different colors, different elements. So let me just write this little symbol. Uh, kind of like this. Uh, we'll be writing this a bunch here. Uh, what does that represent? That represents the same thing this does. A little ball and stick model. And that O represents one oxygen what? One oxygen atom. And that H represents one hydrogen what? One hydrogen atom. Well, two hydrogen atoms. And so there's two hydrogen atoms joined to one oxygen atom. And so this represents a little chunk of water a small particle of water, a small particle of the compound water. Now, uh, how should we define compounds? Uh, we'll uh, have a pretty simplistic definition here, but we'll say a compound is a substance that is formed by two or more elements joined together. A substance, a substance, substance formed by two or more elements, and I'll add the word chemically joined together, chemically joined together, and what 
what does that mean? Well, chemical bonds are formed. They're not just mixed together. They're somehow joined together. So hydrogen is joined to uh, oxygen in this case. Two or more elements uh, uh, chemically joined together. So this formula and that little that little uh, symbolism there and this ball and stick model all represent the same thing and that is the very smallest particle of the compound water. And what is the term for the very smallest particle of a compound? Well, the smallest particle of an element is an atom. The smallest particle of a compound is what? A molecule. A molecule. We can say a molecule is the smallest particle of a compound. And uh, we'd be right some of the time. Actually, we'd be right if we went this way with it. The smallest particle of a compound is a molecule. But surprisingly enough, the smallest part a molecule is not always the smallest particle of a compound. Say, so how can that be? Well, let's look at this little guy right here. What is that? That's another ball and stick model representing two what's joined together? Well, two atoms. And that's the same uh, atom, the same uh, red symbol, uh, same red ball we had over here that represents an atom of what? An atom of oxygen. So here we have two atoms of oxygen joined together. We can represent that like this, O2. And why bother? I mean, it's a nice little tricky thing. You have little flexible sticks. You can join them together. That represents reality. The oxygen in this room that we're breathing, the free oxygen, it just so happens that the atoms are bouncing around in little pairs. Little pairs of atoms. That's the way oxygen atoms do. They, they pair up. And so all the oxygen in this room is in the form of little, and the free oxygen in this room is in the form of little pairs of atoms. And so, would this be a particle of a compound? No, what do we say about compounds? Two or more elements chemically joined together. That's only one element. It's joined together. It's chemically joined together, but it's one element. And it is a molecule. This represents one oxygen molecule. Just like this over here. Did I spell that right? C U. L E L. Just like this up here represents one water what? One water molecule. One oxygen molecule, one water molecule. So uh, if we're going to start with the word molecule, uh, we need to uh, uh, generalize our definition a little bit. If we're going to start with molecule, we have to say a molecule is when you have two or more atoms, two or more atoms chemically joined together. Chemically joined together. That means there's a chemical bond between them. Okay, I think we pretty much filled up the board there. We got it. The difference between elements and compounds. Elements are the basic substances. The smallest particle is an atom. Compounds are more complicated, made of two or more elements. And the smallest particle of a compound is a molecule. And uh, in a more general sense, a molecule is what? Uh, this is a, this represents a molecule. Anytime you have two or more atoms chemically joined together, you have a molecule. So, but if you start over here, the smallest particle of a compound is definitely a molecule. It certainly is. This represents kind of a bigger molecule right here, made of a whole bunch more atoms. This represents one molecule of a substance called glucose. This represents the smallest chunk of glucose, the smallest particle of glucose. All right. That's it for right now.